God is opening your eyes to take it. Take your job, your business, take your business, your business, take what you have been crying for, your business, take what you have been crying for, your business, take what you have been crying for, your business, you have been searching for, your business, God is honoring you. I'm not dying there. I'm not dying in poverty. I'm not dying in lack. I'm not dying in stripes. I'm reaching my destiny. There's a place I'm seeing where God is taking me. Can I prophesy somewhere? You are going somewhere. Are you seeing a place where other people cannot see? It's where God is taking you.
From three to four. Romans fifteen, three to four. Romans fifteen, three to. For Christ, verse three. For Christ also, please not himself, but as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproach thee fell upon me. Amen. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that through patience and through comfort of the scriptures, we might have hope. Amen. Let's pray for Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I was reading this, I began to say every day where we are going is closer than before. And as Christians, we need to exercise patience. Tell you need to exercise Patience. I'll tell you why that because there are, are there are benefits of patience. Once you are patient, there are benefits. If you read the Bible says Christ faced the same. Christ one day Christ when Paul spoke about him. He said, he suffered shame because of the joy that was before him. So when we are reading, it says, he never pleased himself. I exercise patience. That's the message today. In verse 4, it says, Whatsoever things were written, in other words, what we are reading even now is to teach us to have patience. Hallelujah. Amen. So, patience is there to make us to understand that there is still hope that we will receive. Without patience, we are saying there is no promise. If you read there, the Bible says Christ suffer their reproaches. He had hope 
that today will be here. Patience means the ability to endure. The ability to endure. In other words, when you have patience, already you stand where God wanted you to stand before you manifest. That's what patience does. You know the promise. But you wait for their manifestation. And when you are faithful. You need to endure. Because many of you, you have been enduring. That was patience. But endurance without faith is suffering without hope. If you read 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 5. 3 verse 5. Let's read that verse there. Thessalonians 3 verse 5. Let me read verse 5. It says, and the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into the patience of Christ. This is the prayer of the writer of Thessalonians. The Lord must sustain our hearts. If you know you are bound to be blessed, is when God answer your this prayer. To your life. The Lord will make sure that the patience of Christ be in your heart. Listen to this. We are living in the world that judges people by their abilities. But God judges you by your patience. Patience in you. The more you have it, it determines your success. In other words, when you have patience, your success is equal to the patience you put in where God wants to Tell your neighbor, your success is equal to your patience. If you are facing challenges, God is not judging you by those challenges. God is expanding your patience for better results. The reason why we have got people who are better than others. They were successful in their patience. They endure. And they suffer. They had tribulations. And God of mercy sustained them. they trusted in him. In Hebrews 10 verse 36. You have need of patience after you have done the will of the Lord. So that you receive promise. Here the Bible says there is a need. Of patience. After you have done the will of the Lord. Therefore, it means your ability to do the will of God is also checked with patience. Don't ever think doing the will of the Lord ends there. After you do the will of the Lord, you don't just receive what you want to receive. Also, your patience will be checked. If your patience is journeying, you won't worry about any delays. You won't compare yourself with others. Because you know very well that there is a success that will come. Because the promise of the Lord I always say yes. Hallelujah. Amen.
Tazone, my friend. You have a need of patience. This is why people are complaining. Are they are out of their patience. God put patience in us. If God put it in our hearts, if we can have the same kind of Christ, we can go through the cross like what Christ did and there will be the power of resurrection. We cannot die people think we are dead. We can still resurrect where people think can you tell a neighbor again? We have need of patience. Listen to this. I have learned this. If you want to be a powerful Christian, you become powerful Christian by suffering. Suffering is a good weapon of shepherding you. How you handle suffering, that's what matters. Tell how you handle suffering, that's how matters. If you live a life of getting this and getting that yourself, you will derive some formulas which takes you out of your patience. And if there's no patience in your heart, there is no Jesus in your heart. So you will find some ways of getting things in your way. That's why people today they don't want people who are poor. They don't want people who are lacking. But they don't know the promise. The determiner of your suffering of the determiner of your suffering is the blesser. The blesser 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 of your suffering is the blesser. What, what are you facing? You are there so that you exercise patience. Yes. 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 Yes.
Those who are no longer facing patients uh, because of been buried in their life are If you are born to succeed, you are supposed to face a challenge. And that challenge tells you you are the Why the Bible says we are the Because there are challenges that comes every day. I'm here to prophesy someone. We have been going through problems, challenges, and tough times. But today, it's over. You are going to another level. Can you shake somebody and say, hey, I know why I was facing all this. I just have to exercise patience. Listen, many of our diseases are coming because we never exercise patience. Because patience makes us no, to no, see no, no, It makes our visions clear. Therefore, we cannot even try to define our destiny. We will be knowing where we are going. Patience takes you to the end from where you are. I don't know if you're hearing me. There are some people here that God is taking them to the end. And they will never turn them. And if you believe, hallelujah. Remember Lord's wife. Because of not failing, failing to exercise And she was changed. And she died there. The reason why we face stagnation is to exercise patience. We end up like a wife of God. We stay there with her And we become useless. We to get to be useless. If you read Luke 8, you will see that if you read Luke 8, if you read from verse 11 to 15, I'll from 11 to 15. I want to tell you something there. Jesus, Jesus was teaching patience. Yeah, he was teaching patience. The preaching of Jesus was more in patience than more on other things. Jesus said, Can you just read verse 11? In your Bible, it says what? Yes. 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 Bale Hwareng ke ba o ere go ba kwele lentshe ba le amogela ka thabo go mme ke ba ba sena go modu ke ba ba go dumela le bakanyana fela ba hlanoga mohla wa moliko Let me read verse 13 for you Ere ke le ba le 13 And those are on the rock are they who when they have heard receive the word with joy and they have no root who for a while believe and in time of temptation, fall away. Amen. All right, look at verse 14. Arabale 14. And that which fell among the thorns, these are they that have heard. As they go on their way, they are choked with curse mm. and riches and pleasures of this life and bring no fruit to perfection. Amen. Okay, look at verse 15. Arabale 15. And that in the good ground, these are such as in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, Hold it fast and bring forth fruit with patience. Amen. If you read there, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus was teaching about patience. Because listen to this. Jesus said, okay, when you receive the word, it doesn't end there. It prepares you for the seed so that the seed will be able to generate, which is the word. Because the word, it has, it has been created to create something. It enters us build up something. Listen to this. Listen to this. So patience is work. 
is to remove stones remove thorns channeling you on the right road of Jesus 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 is talking about there are some people that are on the wayside the people that uh, cannot exercise patience whatever they find they get in the wrong way when they hear Satan doesn't even mind he also come and take but there are others who have got a case of Mara Christ who are risk complaining pushing their lives these people also the word of the Lord can do anything there but there are those who are that they have been prepared the storms are out and the ground is full of the right soil listen you cannot make a fertile ground without preparing it for you to dig down the soil and to plow in a right way you must prepare you can just take a seed and put it in the stone because you don't want preparation patience teaches you about preparation there are things you must remove out of you there are some stones which are so that when the web enters it, it will germinate. There are some Christians who are here. God is preparing them. They have cut the stones out. There is a clean grass that is gone. But today, the word you are receiving, it will bring forth the wizard. And if you will shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you shake somebody and say, my friend, there is something that is coming out of me. Say, there is something that is coming out of me. Listen, Listen. if you are not prepared, by the one who prepares, by the one who puts the seed, which is the word of God. Automatically, you will stay the way you are. Even if we can pray for you, even if we can give it away, no one can change you. Even yourself, you will say, no one can change you. But patience deals with you. You dig down. There's a preparation of something that will be planted and there will be fruits there. That's why Jesus said you will bear fruits and your fruits shall remain. I'm here to tell you this. By the suffering you were going through God was channeling you. By the shame you were going through God was preparing you to be the right soil. By patience you are suffering as you have suffered as you have suffered. But this is the time that the Lord God of we will see you through with that patience because you have been waiting for many years and it is your time to rise up to the level of grace and I am here to tell you today you are going higher if you believe shout hallelujah hallelujah Gone are the days of looking on other people. Listen to this. Since I come here, I don't care who's preaching there. I don't care who's standing there. I carry on dealing with myself, 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 dealing with who are here today, that God is about to honor them. And if you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shake somebody and say, hey, God has prepared me. So when people are suffering or facing some challenge, you don't laugh on them. Because you don't know what will happen tomorrow. Can you shake somebody and say, my friend, there's nothing to laugh about. There is nothing to talk about. You, you don't know where God is taking you. Sometimes you can face rejection and tribulation. And face sometimes that does not mean that you are out of faith. I don't know if you are hearing me. There are some things you are going through that take some people to write their newspapers. But that does not mean you are on the end of the road. I can tell you, when they are busy talking, when they are busy lying, when they are busy 
The moment I found this, I said, I don't care about who says what. Somebody can still say my church is in the bush. I say, yes. It's where God has planted me. He's dealing with me. Somebody can still say, look at yourself. You are just wasting money going to church. There is no God in your life. You are wasting your time. I mean, silence that death. Tell yourself. There is someone who has promised and it's not a lie like men. Or such men that should change his mind. When he promised, he should fulfill the promise. There are some people who are here today. Your shame, your failure, your difficulty. Listen, God is raising you if you believe shout have that patience. You won't pray to become something. I, I, I told myself, I must not pray to be used by God. I must believe what God says. That is the promise. You don't pray to be you, when you are excited, you become because you are already there. You, you, you don't want to change yourself to be all the standard of what people understand. So don't try to make people to understand. Be what God wants you to be. Say, be what God wants you to be. Okay, look at this verse that I have. James 1 verse 4, the last verse I wanted to give you. Mm, it says, let patience have its perfect work. Amen. May be perfect entirely, lacking what? Lacking what? Nothing. When the patience does its work, you. you have reached a level where you lack nothing. What are you lacking? You are not lacking something. The problem is you are not exercising patience. Because patience tells you definitely what we are praying for, it will come. I'm sure you are here then. Patience tells you your prayers are already answered. You hear that? You are not lacking anything. When patience has done the work on you, the word of God, when it enters you, it brings joy. Because already you know what the word of God will do. You. You, you are lacking nothing. You know, I've read about the Hebrews 11, where the Bible says, This died. He says, it says, this died, but they, they were persuaded by the land they saw. They, they wanted to go, in other words, there was nothing they lacked here. But they wanted to die. They, they, they spoke like Paul and said, I, I've done my job. I'm like a cup. That everything has been poured. So I'm satisfied. I can go. We can pray prayer like Simeon. We say, oh, I've seen the salvation of the Lord. Now there's nothing 
nothing I want. You can pray for your death to come. You have seen him. You lack nothing. There's nothing that God cannot answer. Not because you have all this. It says this have died. Have you felt it? 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 Have you you know, I, I just remember Jesus uh, as I'm close. Jesus said to prove that he was licking nothing. He said, you disciples, I want to enter Jerusalem. But I don't have a car. By that time, the car was a donkey. He said, I don't have a car, but can you just go, you find a man. You find a donkey tie, no one carry on it. No one, no one climb it. No one use it. And the owners of that donkey said, you find a donkey tie, no one carry on it. No one climb it. No one use it. And the owners of that donkey said, the owners are somewhere. But, but you don't even go there. Today. Just go to the one I when want. And tie it. When they come, tell them, I'm going to work with it. This man like nothing. And by me saying that they are great, some of them want to use it. But nobody has ever used it. Uh, we need to have that kind of faith where we can just go to the garage and say, hey, sorry, uh, this, this, this car, I want to use it. They say, nobody has ever used it. And they say, yes, but he wants it. And no one will deny if he has patience. So patience makes your faith to work. And nothing will be impossible. I don't, I don't know if you are hearing me. I'm here today. I'm here today. When you are receiving this precious, by faith, you will receive. I say, by faith, you will receive. Are you ready to receive? Are you ready to receive? Stand up, please. I don't know whether he... What happened to you? That one of specs. Would you bring the colors? Yeah, there's a problem on your waist here. Yes. I see something flickering, flickering, flickering here. What is happening here, sir? I don't know. You just feel pains here. Yes. You know what uh, the yes. pains here. They just flicker, flicker, flicker. Yes. It's over today. It's over. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There is a sister. Come. 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 You are still going to have a problem. Because of friends. So you must get rid of these friends. Because if because if if it were any coroner's coroner's and we as some of your friends, they are not good friends. Okay. Everything you do here, it's a head where you are coming from. And your things are not going the right way. If you can leave these friends, nobody will know what's yes, happening with you. Jesus loves you. Amen. 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 Can you forgive the past? Yes. 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 Because you have been hated. I saw one lady who hated you so much. Yes. Yes. Huh? yes. You're right. So, huh? Yes, you're right, Prophet. Yes. I said, forgive the past. Because God wants to honor you. Amen. It's like you are in one place. You have been hated too so much. Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. So I'll pray for you. Things will change. Amen. 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 You are free. You are anointed today. Amen.
You have been crying to hear from God. You have been praying since you came here. It's true. I can't hear you. He's true, man of God. You have been asking God, God I want this man to release, release me. me. Yes, because your ministry is very tough. Yes, it's, it's true. A uh, lot of attacks. A uh, lot of attacks. Yes. And you have nearly left the ministry. He's true, true, man of God. Uh, you nearly, like this. You nearly yes. left the ministry. Yes. Huh? It's true. I was saying I quit if I don't receive a message today. Can you hear that? Give glory to Jesus. Amen. So God doesn't want you to quit. Today is your day. Come here. Come on, come on. You demon living. Out. Out, you demon. Who's discouragement. Out. Out, leave him. Out. Out. Can you all say, out. Out. As God is delivering him, he's delivering many people. Amen. So this man is going to be used by God. Amen. Say, out. Out. Say, out. Out. You can see what is happening to him. Hold him, hold him. What are you doing on him? Huh? Why are you blocking him? Why are you blocking my brother? Huh? Out! Can you say out three times? Out! 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 Leave him. He's free. From tonight, you sleep well. Thank you, man. Because you don't sleep. Always spiritual husband. Spiritual husband. Come on, you spiritual husband. Spiritual husband always following her. And is here also. Where is your husband, Mama? No, I don't have. You don't have, eh? So you are falling. Put a mic in the mouth. Come on, Timo. I'm denying. Is it? Eh? Demon. There are demons that have attacked me. Are you a pastor? This is demons. Mutu arare asa deliveria. If you're not delivered, you don't work the way you're supposed to. Are you a pastor? Yes, sir. I have to deliver on every week. Are you not delivered? You are not delivered because God is helping you. Funny. Chibran. Ri. Ri. That's in a lesser so crest. You are free. Where is your husband, my sister? He's in the US. Eh? He's in the US. In the US. I'm in very happy for you to come here. You are coming from US also? Yeah, I just I came on Tuesday and I'm leaving tomorrow. Mm. Mm. Hold your chest. Yeah. <laughs> because there's a pain. Yeah. Direct here. Yes. Eh? Yes. What is the cause of the pain? It just started when you were praying for the other lady. Oh, it has been there for many years. This is the pain that can put you down. Because you can't work. It's like you're a lazy person. 
If you can see, you have been waking hard, waking hard. But now you are becoming lazy, lazy. Yes, tired, yes. Tired, tired, tired. What? This is the problem that is causing that. Oh. Mm. So. You demo. What are you doing on air? What are you doing? I can't hear you. I said, what are you doing on air? Huh? Can you see the eyes and the flickering of the eyes there? It shows that this is a demon hiding there. She wants to sing like my daughter. I want to sing like that. <laughs> so she needs to deliver it. Come on! Ouch! You demon! Everybody needs what? Deliverance. Including you. Amen. What are you doing, my sister? Huh? I can't hear you. All over your body. Amen. All over your fire. All over your body. Fire all over your body. <sighs> huh? All over your body. Fire. Amen. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> fire all over your body. <sighs> you demon. <laughs> Out. You demon. You need deliverance. Jesus, I know I need deliverance. Huh? But this uh... Don't cry, eh? Don't cry, eh? You're around here. You're around here now. Fire all over your butt. Come on! Come on, you demon! Put a mic in the mouth. Hey! Ouch! What did you say? Hey! hey. Give him a mic. Come on! Regardez-moi ça! Vous êtes fou! Hein? Hein? C'est qui? Hey! Who is this man? Méfiez-vous, hein? Méfiez-vous! Don't, don't trust ah! this man. Hey! Laissez-moi tranquille! Hein? Keep, let me alone. Ah! Et c'est donkey? Oh! Et c'est quoi donkey? Uh, it means leave alone. Oh! No. So what are you doing on the head? Qu'est-ce que tu fais, Anel? Pardon, laissez, laissez, laissez. Uh, Forgive me, forgive me. Let me. Let me okay, pray. what are you doing? Speak. What are you doing to my sister? Qu'est-ce que tu fais, Anel? Qu'est-ce que tu fais, Anel? Que fais-tu, Anel? Pastor, can you speak? Qu'est-ce que tu fais, Anel? Que fais-tu, Anel? Parle. What are you doing, Anel? Hein? Que fais-tu? Le démon. Oui. Hein? Pardon, pardon. Excuse me. Laissez-moi tranquille. Let me. Laissez-moi tranquille. Let me quiet. Something like that. Laissez-moi tranquille. Fire. What I do on her? Qu'est-ce que tu fais en elle? What you want? Qu'est-ce que tu fais en elle? Est-ce que tu fais en elle? Come on! When, when, when you say come out, you say what? So. So. So when I'm on. So. So. You say what? Let me in peace. Let me in peace. In Jesus' mighty name. You are living here. It's over. You are defeated. In Jesus' name.
Hein? Je ne parle pas. I can't go. You can... Je suis ici. Oh, non, papa. I'm here. Je suis assis. All right. Let I'm me see. Oh, non, papa. Je ne parle pas. I can't go. Je ne parle pas. Je suis là. Je ne parle pas. I can't Je go. Je suis là. Je suis là. I'm there. I'm hey. here. All right. Touch your stomach. Hey. Where? Hey. Where you are hiding? Tu me piques. You're troubling me. In yes. Jesus' name, yes. it is pending me. Yes. Leave it. Yes. Shino Papa. Yes. Brother, you need deliverance. You, were you aware? Yes, sir. Because uh, when I'm with my sister, I saw what is happening to you I in the U.S. Yes, sir, a lot, sir. Huh? A lot. A lot. A lot. Oh, you are facing disappointment. Too much, sir. Personality time. disappointment. Whatever you are doing, you are failing. Eh? Up and down, down, up, and down, up, down. Too much. Up too and much. down, too much. <laughs> too Just much. hearing what a shama, sha what? Your name is what? Ch- Chambers. She? Chambers. Chambers. Yeah. Come. Chambers. <laughs> Come on. Hey, you demon. Come on. Oh. You leave my brother. Oh. <laughs> From here, you are fl- Come on. Oh. In Jesus' mighty name. It's free. Look at, look at him. There. The demon is coming out of him. <laughs> eh? Look at him. Already he's free. That demon is coming. Look at him. Look how he opened his mouth. So, oh. Brother, you are free. It's not fully gone. Huh? Something still there. Something what? It's coming out of my hands. It's coming out of your hands. I told you the demon is coming out of you. In Jesus' mighty name. Be delivered. Be delivered. In Jesus' name. Look what he's doing. Look what he's doing. Look. So, you hear my sister uh, from US and also my brother from here. When I was praying for him, I saw him also is possessed. So thank you. You're free. Amen. As you are busy praying, ask God to touch your life. There's an area you know where you need God. Say, God, touch my life in that area. Mention the area. Mention that area in the name of Jesus. Mention the area where you want God to touch your life. Mention the area Say it. Leke tele ye. La ba 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 ba. As you are here, as you are mentioning the area, there is God intervention on that situation. There is God intervention. Mention the area. Brother, come. God is giving you a job, eh? Thank you, thank my you. Lord. Thank, thank you, my you. Father. Thank you. remember my brother can you hear the alcohol can you hear alcohol you can't hear it so I'm hearing it when did you drink you drink today yesterday 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 yes you didn't drink today in the morning but why are you drinking because remember That's what I said last time I need prayers to stop smoke and drinking. No, no 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 you don't need prayers even yourself you know this is wrong. Yes. 
You can't say, I need prayer to stop fornicating, and you go and fornicate. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. Huh? Yes. No one will use prayer to stop you. You can't drink yesterday, you come to church today. Yes. It doesn't make sense. You want to stop? Yes. Let's pray for him again. Pray for accepting him. Pray for him. Thank you. 